The Sahara Desert, spanning 9 million square kilometers across 11 countries in Africa, is the largest desert globally, characterized by vast dunes and arid conditions. However, it was not always a barren expanse. Thousands of years ago, the Sahara was covered in lush vegetation due to periodic fluctuations in its climate. These fluctuations were caused by slight changes in the Earth's orbital axis, altering the angle of solar radiation. During periods known as African humid periods, the region experienced increased rainfall, resulting in greenery rivers and lakes. However, around 8,000 to 4,500 years ago, a rapid transition from humid to dry conditions occurred, leading to the arid landscape we see today. The Sahara's topographical features extend beyond sand dunes, including mountains, plateaus, plains, salt flats, and basins. While the dunes capture attention, they cover only a small portion of the entire desert. The Sahara's borders are defined by the Atlantic Ocean, Red Sea, Mediterranean Sea, and Sahel Savannah, contributing to its diverse geography. Understanding the Sahara's past and present state is vital for comprehending its ecological history and the impact of climate change. Scientists continue to uncover fascinating discoveries beneath the surface, shedding light on the evolution of this vast desert and its significance in a broader context of Earth's climate patterns. Archaeologist David Wright's study revealed a compelling pattern between human activities and the transformation of the Sahara Desert. Through analyzing archaeological and environmental data, Wright observed that wherever there was evidence of pastoralists, the types and diversity of plants underwent significant changes. Overgrazing by these nomadic humans and their domesticated animals, particularly goats and cattle, appeared to reduce atmospheric moisture and increase albedo, potentially triggering a more abrupt end to the human period than could be explained by orbital changes alone. The use of fire as a land management tool may have further accelerated the desertification process. Interestingly, evidence of whales in the Sahara Desert offers insights into their evolutionary history. Geologists exploring Egypt's western desert discovered whale skeletons dating back 37 million years to a time when the region was covered by a shallow tropical sea. These fossils, particularly those found at Whitey Heaton, known as the Valley of the Whales, provided crucial clues about the transition of whales from terrestrial mammals to ocean dwellers. The presence of legs and knees in these ancient whale specimens supported the hypothesis that whales gradually lost their four legs over millions of years. Today, Whitey Heaton is the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization World Heritage Site and a popular destination for thousands of visitors each year. In a surprising discovery, more than 75 whale fossils have also been found in Chile's Atacama Desert, sparking debates among scientists about how they ended up there. However, studies of the rocks inside the structure indicate that it is a geologic dome formed by Earth-based processes. While some propose alternative theories associating it with the lost city of Atlantis, evidence for such claims remains speculative. Another enigmatic discovery in the Sahara Desert is the Clayton Ring, conical pottery cylinders open at both ends. These peculiar objects were found in the inhospitable Egyptian part of the desert aimed after geographer and explorer P.A. Clayton. The purpose and significance of these rings have yet to be fully understood. The Sahara Desert continues to captivate with its mysteries for the evolutionary journey of whales to geological formations and archaeological artifacts, reminding us of the vastness and diversity of Earth's history. The Sahara Desert, with its vast expanse and captivating mysteries, has revealed fascinating discoveries that shed light on the region's history and cultures. Among them are the Clayton Rings, conical pottery cylinders found in the desert. These rings are always accompanied by slightly larger, perforated pottery discs that do not function as lids. Interestingly, they were not used by the Egyptians along the Nile or were significant to the nomadic herders of the Sheikh Mufta culture in the Dakla Oasis during Egypt's early dynasties. While clay rings are commonly found in the oasis and surrounding seasonal camps of the Sheikh Mufta culture, their presence in catches located up to 300 kilometers away from water sources is particularly intriguing. The question remains, why do individuals carry these rings deep into the desert? The true purpose of clay rings continues to elude researchers, leaving room for speculation and further inquiry. It is possible that these objects held symbolic or ceremonial importance, play a role in rituals or religious practices, or serve as valuable trade items within the social dynamics of the nomadic herders. Unraveling the mysteries surrounding Clayton rings requires a deeper understanding of the ancient Sheik Mufta culture, its beliefs, and the context in which these objects were utilized. The discoveries in the Sahara Desert, including the evolutionary insights into whales and the geological wonders like the Eye of the Sahara, ignite a sense of wonder and inspire further exploration. 
This captivating landscape, with its hidden treasures and untold stories, invites us to delve deeper into the rich history and diverse cultures that have flourished in this arid region. As we reflect on these remarkable discoveries, let us share our thoughts and insights on the intriguing Saharan Desert findings in the comments section below.